Hi, Philip Long, CEO of BIS Technology Group, and we are at layer six in our Defense in Depth series. And this particular layer, we're going to talk about patch management. And patch management is really what we would think of as you know running your computer updates. And uh, that can be a lot of times people think about that as it relates to you know Microsoft products. You know the world a lot uses Microsoft products, and uh, a lot of times when I talk to people about that, they're like, "Oh, my my system does it automatically." Well. If you really know how patch management is works and really is supposed to work, two two things come to mind. One is is that Windows patches itself very poorly. It does not do a great job of doing patches on itself well. There will be many critical uh, security related patches that simply get missed. And if you don't have the proper Windows update agent, the machine simply will not uh, update. And you'd be surprised how often we see that. Second is, is that from a time management standpoint, you really don't, and the reason people turn off patch management or they don't run their patches is because they don't want to go through the time of applying those patches during working hours. So again, patch management is essential as it relates to security. Probably 70 to 80% of these patches or updates that are rolling out have a security component to them. So it's, uh, it's essential that you do do your patching. And the bad thing is that if you're doing it manually, you're, uh, you're probably not doing it well, and you're also doing it during normal working hours that will, uh, it will decrease your effectiveness and your efficiency throughout the day. So a proper patch management software is going to do a few things. Number one, it is going to be uh, pre-selected with what patches you actually need. And they're going to be pushed down onto the machine at night during non-production hours so that you don't have um, the interruption of your, of your business day. The, the cost of downtime is, is absolutely... Uh, incredible whenever you look at it from just from a standpoint of wages only and uh, it you know businesses are coming around they're starting to see that but I've written a blog that if you uh, message me I'll send it to you that really has a formula a very simple formula without all the you know this isn't in, in a formula that your accountant would make for you because there's a lot more that goes into loss whenever you have non-production but it's a very simple formula that will prove to you very quickly that, that maintenance needs to happen offline. You need to have your network up and available. So uh, going kind of back to patch management. We think of patch management more with Microsoft probably. Uh, but you also need to patch against, uh, I'll say, the other 150 common softwares that are on machines. They also have exploits. You know, if you think about it, anything man can create, another man can, can take advantage of. And that's exactly what's happening. And these other products are common products like Adobe, Flash, Chrome, GoToMeeting, go to, uh, you know, go to Webinar, the um, Chrome, I said Chrome already, Mozilla Firefox, uh, .NET technologies that are, that are out there. All of these products need to be patched in order to have a real uh, patch management system in place and what that does is it really protects you from vulnerabilities and the way the world works is you know we'll use Microsoft for instance but any one of these companies you look at Adobe they will put a patch out and then they will go out on their website and they will say this is what the uh, potential risk if you don't put this patch out well that basically tells the bad guys that they found a vulnerability in their software and now they can target it and I could cite many, many, many uh, security breaches, big security breaches that have happened due to simple, just not patching software. So it's important to patch not only your Microsoft products, but also the 150 other common products that are, that are running in business today. You may not have all 150, but you probably have 10. Uh, 10, maybe even 15 other products that are not Microsoft, you know, applications that are loaded on your machine that do have vulnerabilities and they will keep you exposed. Again, Philip Long here with uh, BIS Technology Group. If you have further questions, um, you know, uh, 
hit us up, private message me, email me at plong at SBIS. We'll be happy to, uh, to help answer further questions. And if you think this is beneficial, please share this because really we want to be a source of uh, education to our market here on the Gulf Coast. I'm in a peer group. It's kind of personal to me. And a lot of times, you know, these guys are from, from other parts of the country and they feel like they're further along than we are as it relates to uh, technology. And I really want to make an impact on that by educating, showing people what, where these, you know, pinpointing a vulnerability or a, or a tip that can move us forward and, you know, help our, our region really be strong from a security standpoint. Uh, as well as, you know, just overall effectiveness that technology brings. Thank you for watching.